So this is your My Famous Mathematician video project that you're going to be working on for this class. And you can see here there's a bunch of different pictures of a lot of very famous mathematicians here. Some you might recognize, uh, right? Some of you may not recognize, you know, some, I don't know, maybe do you recognize this guy? Maybe this guy right here. Let me tell you, this guy right here, over here, this guy right here, big time for our class, super important mathematician, well, just super important mathematician in general. But um, your goal for this project is to create a video presentation to introduce your classmates and myself to um, what you studied about one of these famous mathematicians. And so that's what's going to be your objective. So let's go over some of the details of this project here. So again, your objective right here is to create a video presentation to highlight a famous mathematician. Your video will be played in class. It will be posted on Google Classroom for everyone to see. So you want to make sure to make it good. Um, so let's talk about some parameters that I want you to have in your video. Number one, your video must include student written and read narration. There must be no AI generated stuff. You got to do this on your own. Okay. So, um, you need to write your script and you need to narrate it or read it on camera however you want to do that you can see here it says on camera or off camera narration is up to you whether you want to you know read some narration and you know you do a little box of you reading down here and some video in the background however you want to do that that's up to you all right your video needs to be four to six minutes length in length no less than four no more than six. So as, as you know, I give you a grade for this project, that's one of the things that I'm going to grade you on is did you fit within those parameters? All right, now regarding your chosen mathematician, the video is going to contain, uh, first off, a biographical sketch of his or her life. Uh, when and where did this person live and study? Who were their contemporaries? What's notable about their life? What historical events were taking place um, when this mathematician lived? Um, you know, give us give us a good solid idea of who this person was. Um, you know, from the beginning to the end of their life, and and how did their um, life contribute to math? And again, that comes down to our second one here, which are the highlights of his or her mathematical contributions. Again, what did he or she bring to the world of mathematics? What impact did that have on mathematics or maybe even overall world history? Um, you, you may find some of that. And then, um, you know, who, who were they influenced by and who did they influence? You know, a lot of these mathematicians that you saw at the top there, they stood on the shoulders of giants and then others stood on their shoulders. And so knowing, you know, uh, kind of the chain along pathway of, you know, who influenced them and who they influenced is um, really very telling in, in getting to know these mathematicians. All right, uh, continuing on our parameters here, um, I do want to see some diagrams or illustrations of their mathematical contributions. I don't expect you to give us a full-blown um, detail of what they did, but when you talk about their mathematical contributions, give us some visual pictures to go along with that, okay? I do want to see a picture or representation of the mathematician, so you can use one or many, depending on what you can find. Obviously, some are going to be like we saw with the Euclid one in our initial video, um, you know, the, the Raphael painting. Um, you know, we don't really know what Euclid looked like, but there are there are representations of these mathematicians out there. I want to make sure that you include those in your video. I will be awarding some bonus points on your videos that make use of animations and special audio and that have, you know, a colorful and creative presentation style to it. So, um, you know, you've got to meet all the parameters. And then, you know, if your video's got some extra pizzazz to it and it looks really sharp and really good, um, you know, you've got some music and animations and that kind of stuff going below it. Um, or, you know, maybe audio clips of something that the mathematician said in their day and time, um, you know, that would be fantastic. That will earn you some bonus points. And then lastly, you do need to submit for me a reference page properly citing where you got all your sources from. Um, the citing format, you know, uh, whether you use MLA or APA, I'm, I'm not really all that concerned about it. I just want to make sure that you document down where you got your sources for your video project. Okay. So again, this is the famous mathematician, mathematician video project, and you can kind of review through this video to, to see those parameters. Please make sure that you meet all of those because those will be the standards to which I'm grading this project for you. 